Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everybody in between. This one's a little weird for me because it's a little different. As I was going to have a bunch of clips of the anime as I normally do, but YouTube copyright does not like me showing it off. So instead, I've got some clips of me playing Gang Beasts as Rick because today we are talking about Rick and Morty, the anime. The recent release, I was not quite expecting that takes place between the fifth and sixth seasons of Rick and Morty and an alternate dimension as well. If you portaled over here then go ahead and give this channel a subscribe, this video a like if it helps, and let's get into it. This show starts off with a peaceful planet being slowly invaded by the Federation showing up with their large ship ready to wipe the planet clean and take its resources for themselves which is typical federation mentality however they are stopped by a space punk summer who's kind of been keeping an eye on it and has her own opinions about how things should be going we then cut over to see the normal rick and morty family as the Federation shows up in force to take Grandpa Rick into custody. However, we also learn that this Grandpa is a mere decoy, and the real one is out there with some sort of time neutrino thing that he is currently holding. This episode has him and Summer talking as she is a bit more of the smart one compared to Morty, and Morty is actually hidden up in a VR simulator that allows him to live through multiple lives all at once, kind of with a interconnecting thread, but for the most part just exploring this life, multiple lives, where it starts out with a little bit of gang activity, some kaiju monster attacks, and then continues on as he meets friends, he's his grandpa or other family, and even falls in love. Although more she falls in love with him as he doesn't really remember who she is. The episode continues with Rick off on some unknown planet continuing to work with Summer as she and Space Mom or Space Beth are keeping an eye on his hologram decoy and trying to get him out of whatever mess that he's in. Morty goes through lives of being a mayor, being a father, being a friend, and it's interesting in the sense that it's kind of like a alternative inception sort of multiple realities happening at once but it also creates a almost disconnected weird like parallel universe almost kind of like it was watching cloud atlas for the first time where you're not really sure what's going on but with that the episode ends with Rick pulling the plug, or rather Rick telling Summer to pull the plug and bring Morty back as they're going to need him for whatever shenanigans that they're about to get up to. Overall, I would say that it's an interesting but disconnected episode of Rick and Morty as it kind of almost feels like, you know, some mini episode that's 30 minutes long, which makes sense considering it's not even in the main storyline it's an alternative dimension that they're playing in and i prefer to watch my anime with japanese subtitles and through that that voice acting didn't quite get me you know maybe it's because i've watched five seasons of rick and morty so i'm used to a very particular sound from everybody but the rick and the morty just didn't quite get it and the japanese fake burp is nowhere near as smooth or iconic as the English counterparts. And the animation style itself kind of threw me off with everything feeling a bit more toned down in its color pops, as well as it just felt 
painted. I can only say versus animated like a normal cartoon would be. Character design of the people, it just didn't do it for me. You know, people were too tall, too wide, and the overall style just could not pull me in as much as I tried. Honestly, the best part of it was probably the opening credits, although it still doesn't beat the classic, you know, opening sci-fi feel of the original show. So it just the entire process felt like it didn't quite hit for me. It wasn't quite there in terms of something that I would really enjoy or look into. Now it isn't placed in the Rick and Morty universe, so there is a potential that it could get better, it could get more interesting, but overall it felt something like it was just trying to jump on the IP if you're in Japan and you've seen Rick and Morty, and you've seen this, or if this is your first intro into Rick and Morty, then let me know in the comments what you think. Because for me, as an OG watcher, and you know, enjoying things like Solar Opposites, this just quite didn't hit the mark for me. Hopefully you do enjoy it, but I'm not really heavily interested or involved at the moment with it. Give a comment below, let me know what you think, and if you have any other anime ideas or shows that you would like me to watch, go ahead and let me know and I'll take a look for next time. Well, until next time, y'all take it easy, stay awesome, and I will see you soon.